Jerry, I think that's 12 points you've recovered from losing positions this season, but I thought those three were thoroughly deserved, weren't they? Absolutely, yeah. I thought that was a really dominant display, actually. Just spoke to Jay afterwards, he said fully, fully deserved. I thought some of the football we played was superb. We were really shocked to be 1-0 down at half-time. Um, just reminded the boys that we don't want to be known as a nice team that plays a lot of good football, but saying that, they had th was it three really good saves first half from their keeper as well. And I mean really good saves, at point-blank range, really. Um, so we were disappointed and we just reminded ourselves that we have to be a bit more ruthless, a bit more of a killer instinct in us. And um, yeah, and it, obviously second half we've come out with the same sort of stuff really. We, we dominated the ball. They were dangerous on their counter-attacks. And we had to make sure we locked out well in transition. Um, and I thoroughly deserved three points. I thought, I thought the whole performance was very good. I have to say the last two home games, when you look at all the data and all the stats, it's not dissimilar to this. We dominated possession last Tuesday and we dominated possession on the Saturday as well. In football, it's really fine lines, and those goals went against us because it's two mistakes in two games. Nothing really else in open play, and today we look solid again, and um, and we look a threat. So it was it was a really convincing in the end three points. Yeah, you got a few shots in the first half, so you said like, a few good saves from the keeper, and then the second half on bonfire night, a rocket from Dan Heyfield. As well. I like it, mate. Yeah, <laughs> excuse the pun. Um, yeah, listen, we've been waiting for a goal from him, and we keep demanding that he's such a good striker of the ball. Even in the warm-up before, I did some longer range stuff with him, ironically. A bit different to what we normally do. I sort of sat him and he hit balls from 25, 30 yards. He's got such good technique. Really pleased for him. He gives everything he, he's got in his body for this football club. Really good midfielder. I thought they complemented themselves really well. I thought Chris Lines, some crucial defensive stuff as well at the end, some headers. Luke played a part in it, obviously, and then I make the change and Rex goes on. I thought I have to say special mention to Alec Freer because I thought he was excellent when he went on. Subs um, worked, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it did today. Yeah, it did. Sometimes they don't mark, sometimes they do. And people might have questioned when I took Cody off and put Scotty down the middle, but I felt as if a little bit more movement was going to hurt them. And I felt as if Elliot on this pitch would have an impact in the game, and he did. We flipped it around. We went to a two and a one instead of a one and a two in midfield. So Rex had that moment as playing as a ten. Um, and it worked, yeah. I mean, listen, Cody, Cody at the moment is struggling physically with a groin. We've got to get it looked at. Um, I, was, I didn't know whether I was going to say it on camera or not for opposition to look at it, but why not put it out there so the fans understand it and know what's going on with him. He's been battling through with it for weeks, and we've got to get it seen to. He might be able to play through with it, but he's only on 70%. I had a good conversation with him yesterday. He wants to play. He wants to be in the team. But I could tell in his movement he wasn't quite the Cody Cook I know. Still played well, but still wasn't the Cody I know. So that was a change. And um, like I say, on this occasion, they all worked. I, I don't think you can question the hard work in your team yet again. I think Scott Wilson's almost in the left back position, helping Dan Greenslade and Alex Fletcher as well, never stops Absolutely. running. And, and plenty of them really just cover their mates pretty much. Yeah, they all contribute. And even on the bench, I've said it before, you know, Jack's gone out of the team today, but his contribution to me, he's been around me now for five years. And his contribution and his help on the bench to me is, is excellent. And I thank him for that as well. Elliot's been like that for the last couple of weeks. These are a really good group. They'll have a nice journey back now on the coach. They'll know they won't be drinking tonight. They know we've got important two games now, two at home. And we'll be looking to try and get six points from that. Puts us in a really solid position still in the league. Those two games and those two losses are, are distant now in us. We'll learn from it and we have learned from it. I sent out some data to them last night to remind them what we're all about. And this is a really good performance. Like I say, it's the dominant one. So when people, all, all the... All the comments, the negativity and whatever, we, we, we turn off from that because you've got to look at it. It's not people who are football educated. If you're football educated, you know what you've seen for the last three games. You're not going to win every game of football. It's really important you reflect and learn. And you understand why you haven't and then you come back and you hit it like we have today and put in a really convincing performance away from home. And we're turning into a very good team away from home. The one thing I've got to say, that, that travelling support today was phenomenal. To bring a coach all the way down to Tombridge, and I know I've criticised it before, but that is phenomenal. Massive grouping behind each goal, where, which goal we're attacking. And what I want to see at Twerton Park is, because it seems as though at the moment, at Twerton the last two games, it's been very flat in atmosphere. And I don't really know why, and I haven't got my finger on it. We're in a playoff position. We need to turn up and we need to make sure we're vocal from minute one, because the boys need you. The boys need you, we need you. We're together as one as a club. And I know you need something to shout about, and I know you need something to cheer, but actually it works hand in hand. And um, let's hope Tuesday night we get a really good atmosphere in there because this team can do things. And um, we've got a strong competition for places. People are missing out at the moment in the squad. And we're really looking forward to the next two home games. Just a quick one on, on Dulwich, not in charge. Uh, sorry, Gavin Rowe's not in charge anymore. Mm. Good friend of yours, he was there for, for years and years. So are they a different proposition now? Are they playing a different way? I think so. I haven't really seen too many of their games, Mark, if I'm being honest. Gavin, Gavin and Junior are really good friends of mine, as you know. Get on really well. I was really sad to see them go. That's football. I was the first to message them. 
and they came back to me so listen we we we'll, we'll have a look at the game i'll have a look over the weekend of course and prepare properly for it but if we turn up and we're as solid as what you are you spoke about the work rate and the attitude of this group and if we got if we got people that are in real good confidence that do the world of good for them again now turning up at Twerton Park at home and make it let's make it hostile I think sometimes we're a little bit nice as a club and I want to make it as hostile as I possibly can so when people turn up they don't enjoy playing at Twerton Park I don't want people to turn up and going oh this is lovely I want to play a game of football here I want them to actually fear coming to Twerton Park because that takes you a long way in the season because if you've got a team that's good like us away from home and you start getting your wins at home then you become a really strong force so already really excited for Tuesday Really, really happy and proud of the boys' performance today. And um, everyone's going to have a really nice weekend. And I'll thank the fans again for coming because they were, they were terrific today. Absolutely terrific. Oh, so we're your team and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll see you on Tuesday. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks. Mike.